Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Are you struggling to beat the campaign? Are you stuck somewhere? Apparently there I wasn't able to beat the boss on Apocalypse 1, 2, 3. I'm gonna give you some tips to uh, remediate to that. So you are gonna see it's gonna be doable, it's gonna be easier and you are gonna kill him faster if you need to have more damage. So let's check the fight for now. So this is the boss. I have a lot of time to kill him, but he deals a lot of damage to me, so maybe I won't be able to kill him. And yes, he killed me. So I'm going to show you my skills and I'm going to explain to you what do you need to use if you want a better stats or better survivability with your, with your champ. So I'm going to go to skill and this is what I am using so far. I'm using a blue one. Yes, of course, because that one is increasing my attack speed by 30% for 5 seconds. I'm using that as well with that one because it's also increasing my basic attack damage by an extra 35%. So by using both of them, I'm gonna have more attack speed and more damage on the basic attack. So that's great if you want to deal more damage. And it doesn't matter the class you are gonna use though. I am also using that one, so I'm gonna have some more skill damage. That's another epic one. And I'm using that one to increase my pulse damage by 30 percent by which is a lot depending on the pulse you are gonna use, if they deal a lot of damage or not. And then I'm gonna use that one as, as well. It's gonna reduce the target attack speed by five seconds. And that's gonna help me a lot to survive. So there I have maybe too much damage, but not enough survivability. So I'm gonna try to change that one and to use another with a lower rarity to try to beat the boss. So that one is one of the best you can have to tank. Uh, in fact, you are gonna have a shield on your guy, 20% of your max HP for 10 seconds. So the boss is gonna have to destroy your shield first and you are gonna avoid taking damage while you have the shield. So I'm gonna put the shield instead of the one that increases the damage of my pals and I'm gonna retry to see if there is a difference or not. So let's do it. Same boss, I have the shield and I was able to tank the first attacks and I'm close to get the shield again. Look at that, I have the shield again and the boss is dead, I have half my HP remaining. So this is an easy way to beat this kind of content. But you have some others, other skills that are worth it. You have that one, it's amazing because you are going to recover 30% of your max HP every 25 seconds. Uh, and that's going to help you a lot. So if you have too much damage, if you die versus a boss, you can replace another one. Maybe uh, not that one because I'm a mage and it's increasing my uh, skill damage, but maybe that one. I can replace that one by uh, that one and then I'm going to be able to heal during the battle and that's going to help me a lot. For example, there I'm fighting against a boss. Okay, I used it at the beginning because it was in auto, but normally if you do the fight in manual, you are going to be able to use that manually during the fight and so you are not going to waste the heals on your uh, champion. This is a great one to use and I love that. And you might want to know about that as well. This is a blue one and the effects are increasing my HP attack and defense by an extra 92.4%. But in fact, this is permanent. You don't need to equip that to get the bonus. For example, there, as you can see, base HP attack defense plus this is the total of every skill I have on my account. And it's always taken into consideration. So I'm going to show that to you just to be sure. If you click on that icon, you can see your base attributes 420k HP and if you check at the bottom you can have the final attributes after every multiplier you have with the gear the pals and the uh, and the uh, and the skills and this is my final HP almost 44 million HP okay so if we check now I'm gonna add some uh, skills to me click on quick equip and you are gonna see there I still have the same bonuses stats 420 and the same HP, so yes, it's permanent. So in fact, you just have to pick the ones you want for the content you want to clear. There are some bosses that deal more damage than others, such as the slime, for example, but that one is going to take more damage. So in that case, you want to make sure that you are using that one to protect your hero, uh, that one as well to heal you, and there are some that are increasing a lot your basic attack speed and skill damage, so make sure that you are using the right ones. So that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.